So we can show our dicks. <laughs> All <laughs> right, I guess I. How much penetration can you show? What if we, what if we did a G-rated interview with our eyes, right? <laughs> with our cocks out? Feel free to wear your casual Friday clothing pretty much any day of the week. And if anyone wants to be CFO. <laughs> anyone? So, what are you doing with the rest of your life? Catching up on some me time, find God, maybe move around some chairs. Maybe I'll run into your orgy or something. Well, that sounds nice. Would you describe this film as a yeah, a hell yeah? Or a fuck yeah with a side of heroin. What was the middle one? I think it's a fuck yeah. Yeah, with a side of heroin, side and, of heroin ecstasy. and ecstasy. Fuck yeah. No, the third one was a fuck yeah. The third one side was of heroin. Hell yeah. The second one was, what was the second one? Hell yeah. Hell, hell yeah. yeah. Can I do hell yeah with a side of yeah, heroin? Yeah, can I have the heroin from the fuck yeah and then have the hell yeah? Would you say it's a fuck yeah? I mean, I guess we have to say it's a fuck yeah. yeah. I mean, we're promoting the movie. Yeah, You'd say so it's, it's a fuck, fuck, yeah. fuck yeah with a side of weed. Yeah. And maybe some math. Because you gotta keep the whole thing moving. Yeah, you can't fall asleep. What are you gonna asleep. fall asleep during right, the 12 yeah. days? I mean, fuck no, you're not. It's crazy. Come on in. Why is it that when mankind is coming to an end, the first thing on everyone's mind is fucking orgy? Yeah. Yeah, they were, they're just like, let's get that part out of the way. Some people are having an orgy, some people are just deciding they're gonna do drugs until the end. I think that's why whenever people go to funerals, when they get really horny, well, that's well, the best. Yeah. yeah. Suddenly you have permission to do whatever with whomever. Totally get that orgy would be part of the yep. equation. Why didn't you tell me that? We're just living in this contained, terrible prison that we call modern life. And then when you know it's all going to be over soon, those walls come down and so do the pants and undergarments. If you know what I'm saying, <laughs> fuck yeah you do, with a side of cocaine. What was the question? It's like anything, like when you, when you, when you have to sit down to work and you don't want to work, the first thing you do is jack off. Yeah. So it's the, you know, it's, it's our first instinct, it's the first act of the movie, and mm -hmm. the second act is I actually think things A lot of times when I, when I sit down to masturbate, I end up Working. stopping and then getting the lawn, you know, lawn mode. So it doesn't, I do it most all balances of, out. I do most of my writing when I'm jacking off. You have to start and then go, well, I should finish a chapter. <laughs> yeah, that sounds nice. Were well, you guys channeling more of like a 70s porn vibe or more like Caligula? It was an unintentional I, homage, I guess, I, I to some people. Like, I feel like you're specifically referring to my low-cut frenzies top, which was, was uniform. I guess maybe I would usually wear something, but there's a lot of chest hair, and I do come out and I do stand sort of with, with sort of a cocked head a lot in the film, and that's a very 70s porn sort of head position. That is amazing! It was not a conscious influence for me, but probably everything I do is somehow influenced by 70s porn, so... <laughs> And just that decade, I've tried to talk to you about 80s pornography, and she oh, oh, yeah, you really, oh, <laughs> won't have any of it. Yeah, she wants it out. And I'm a purist. How's that sit? I love how you're channeling a very straight suburban dad who has watched a lot of porn in private, and so you're acting like the way these awful porn videos have taught you to act, but it's so not coming That's off exactly correctly. Right. It was so yeah. like, that is how my dad and his friends would act in an orgy. Single guys like us, I mean, we gotta grab this thing. He's at some point a few days ago gave yeah. over yes. to that, yeah. fuck it, guess what? This is actually who I am. Mm -hmm. Family and uh, yeah, he's like uh, Malcolm McDowell. He's yeah. like Caligula, <laughs> but he's he's acting like he th he he, he, thinks, he Greece, thinks yeah actually. he thinks that Malcolm McDowell acted that way in Caligula. I regret my entire life. And Connie Britton plays your wife. It, even though she is basically sponsoring a drug orgy, she is being a very concerned mom about she's it. She's the moral compass. Yeah, but well, she because well, she's making sure everyone shares and yes. takes turns, but they're taking turns and sharing. Horrible things, yeah. body fluids and drugs. Is this okay? I would say that if everything was ending, we would all have our ah, fuck it list. Sort of, the hell with it. What would be on your guys' ah, fuck it list? Clearly, I, I'm not shaving anymore. <laughs> so that's sort of in my... Massive know, beard. My, yeah, the, the hell with it. Yeah. Or as you put it, the fuck it list. Squirrels. Just gonna fuck some squirrels. <laughs> 
I, I, I have an identical list, but the word squirrel is replaced with nuts. I think I'd just be drinking all the time. That's, that's a good one. Margaritas. I don't think I'd want to be entirely sober when that thing hits. I'm sorry, sir, that's not covered under your current policy. Were you guys just tripping balls the entire time? <laughs> or was there ever a point where it was like, we're going to do this straight? First of all, I've never understood that expression, tripping balls. I don't know what it means or how it relates to anything. I think it's one of those things that people just started saying, and then everybody else started saying it. That being said, fuck yeah, I was tripping balls the whole time, man. I don't even know what that means. Do you think Jesus was sober for his last supper? I was totally sober, um, just pounding water the whole time, and TJ was tripping over balls. I was tripping, that's really what it was. In, in my trailer, I had marbles and balls and small, <laughs> just a lot of spherical objects that I was tripping over, and she'd come in and say, look, I'm watching 70s porn in my trailer. Do you want to come and just look specifically at how their heads are cocked? And I was like, I'm tripping over balls right now. I can't do that, I don't have time to do that, all right? Luckily, I'm getting my midlife crisis in just under the wire. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Frenzies, where everyone's your friend. I believe you guys are still open. And do you know what? It's his birthday today. Why didn't you tell me that? Happy birthday! Yeah, we should go. We should go. We are the world now. You're gonna wanna see Seeking a Friend for the End of the Motherfucking World. You know what? You'd have to be a real tool to not see <laughs> Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. Go see this movie because no one in it is a cunt. Seeking a Friend for the End of the World is gonna be one patatan tai cuck of a time. Who's your daddy? It's no good!